Hello everyone, Linker here introducing Gwyneth in depth as well as this. I want to seriously thank Titus for this new beautiful Linker splash screen. In this video, we will introduce Gwyneth, look at her PvE synergies, analyze her PvP matchups and counters, and give unknown tips and tricks to make the best out of her. Starting off, Gwyneth is a light bear warrior carry that relies on basic attacks to land AoE damage and CC. Despite being a warrior, her HP and defense leave a lot to be desired. However, her attack stat scales very high which allows her, by virtue of her own scaling, to take down enemy teams from behind consistently. Half of her kit is around imbuments. They're non-mutually exclusive buffs to their basic attacks that apply 70% of the time. They decrease her attack speed but increase her attack damage. Note that unlike most heroes, her arrows target opposing enemies directly, meaning she can target the backline if put in the backline. The first imbuement is going to be this Flaming Arrow. Now the Flaming Arrow is dealing 220% instantly and another 250% over time, also countering healing. The second is going to be the Lightning Arrow. The Lightning Arrows do AoE damage and deal 220% damage stacking with the Flaming Arrows. They also stun enemies, hit for a short duration, stunning countering healing and doing 690% damage with every basic if both imbuments trigger together. Now let me repeat that. Gwyneth can deal more than Belinda's ult in base damage, stunning and counter healing in an AoE while landing CC with each of her basic attacks and those basic attacks can crit. Right. And she even has a pretty high crit rating too. Speaking of crits, she has a passive that increases her base crit chance by 30% when away from enemies. It also has the accuracy buff more than any dodge increase ability in the game. Then also she has her ult. Now her ult fires on the enemy side of the field. It only triggers if there are enemies on the enemy side. So that's one of the questions I see a lot. Dealing some damage. It also reduces enemy accuracy by 150 I think that should be the highest in the game too, right? Right? <laughs> so she is pretty strong. In the campaign in King's Tower, she's very prominent. A lot of her kit is built around her AoE CC, so she can apply a lot of damage if enabled, locking down many enemies at once, probably doing some good damage in the process. This is why I know for a fact you'll see him in almost any endgame replay. Now her niche is pretty good, it scales down from the very early game once she grabs her imbuman and goes up all the way, bursting down these enemies very well. Since her attacks target opposing enemies in the backline, she does best against static backlines, like the one that you see over here. This is important to understand, if the backline does not move, she will hit enemies adjacent to each other. She has three main weaknesses though. Looking at her role and how she works, her imbued attacks make her slower, she's vulnerable to invades and engages, and her AoE is pretty small, meaning any moving enemies will probably give her some trouble. So this is why you'll usually see her with heroes that address these issues to some extent. For example, Arthur is a pretty good example of this, because Arthur has this buff, he buffs all allies behind him that are rallied, giving extra crit as well as attack speed. She really likes that as he tanks so much damage. Hendrik and Estrilda are both great examples that you'll probably see. Both of them have some defensive utility in them. They also have specific buffs in how Hendrik, for example, can tank for backline allies and Estrilda can, by virtue of her signature item, reduce the damage taken. The one thing about them is that when they knock back, they group those enemies. That makes Gwyneth hit more enemies and spiral faster. Now, Laika and less commonly twins are there to give Gwyneth haste. She really likes it because it makes her attack go faster, makes her apply CC faster, and that also enables her other synergies. Heroes like Lorsan, for example. There's also less common interactions, including Khazard, she's seeing with crit buffs. There's Kriath, grouping enemies. There's Lucius, knocking back. There's Grover, leaning CC. There's Belinda, buffing the crits. Naka, placing CC where it's needed. Cecilia, debuffing enemy damage dealers. Numisu, placing totems to mitigate. 
Thorin pulling enemies with his furniture. I don't know how many people are aware of that one synergy. Pretty cool over here, right? Because he sucks all enemies towards him. And Athalia, lastly, disabling threats. In PvP, she's a great yet vulnerable carry. Now, when you see PvP, the one issue with Gwyneth in PvP is that when attacking other players in Arena Legends Championship, she can work in a similar manner to how she does in the campaign. However, in the defensive, you need to be mindful because if she's your only carry, people can disable her with Iron, Nera, or Athalia. So we're gonna challenge Deep Toss here just to demonstrate how she works when she does on the defensive. Many of her allies are also vulnerable. For example, smart players will exploit Arthur if he's used passive and backstab him to deal much more damage. However, she does find a place in many sets through the game, usually in multi-carry sets. That's because the enemy can't afford to engage with all these carries. For example, this set over here, having Aaron, having Gwyneth and having Zolrath, so that the enemy can't engage with all of them at once. The top meta set for her is Burst Gwyneth, where she joins Cyron and Zolath here and besting enemies down. She'll usually see her joined by buff characters like Lorsan, Laika, sometimes Nakaruru, uh, depending on the set. And let's just see quickly how does this work, even against a very specially crafted set to annoy Gwyneth. As you can see, quick engage, lots of damage with her carries. I'm just gonna haste this down over here. As you can see, the enemy Gwyneth dealing a lot of damage, applying it very fast too. Now, for quick tips about Gwyneth, get her signature item to 20. The signature item 20 is very important for her because it allows her to summon a clone each time. Now, and an ally ultimates trigger fast because she kills those enemies very fast. And firing two extra arrows with that little clone that pops up is so, so useful. After you get it to 20, get it to 25. She gets necessary haste from that. Gwyneth likes haste. I cannot emphasize this enough. She enjoys every little bit of movement speed, allowing her to do her basics faster, apply CC better, and deal more damage that stacks in such a good way on her and enables her as a carry. Celerity 3 is completely broken. Uh, she also likes her furniture. 3 out of 9 is also pretty strong, making her more consistent. And for artifacts, as you see, I put on her eye over here, but she also likes Call for Haste or Early Blade. Speaking of consistency, she's very RNG dependent. Great for campaign retries in multi set meta with her imbues. 49% of the time, stacking both these imbues together and dealing a lot of damage, affecting the enemy team with all the CC she applies. Another thing is how about her gear, she only really needs boots because the way that she is, is that the only thing that really benefits her is gonna be the movement speed. Lots of those items have physical resistance. By the time she's taken significant damage, you've likely already failed. She likes doing what she does fast before the enemies scatter around. So pay attention and buff her boots at those mythic gear stones for them. Now about positioning in Gwyneth, this is pretty crucial. You'll probably want her in the mid backline. And the reason for that is that she shoots her arrows directly at the enemy backline. And if the enemies are static, those arrows are gonna spread in that AOE, eating the entire backline. And if she's using knockback allies, also some heroes of the front line sometimes as well. But in these situations, you can put her in the edges because what will happen, it'll allow her to target CC and also sometimes dodge really annoying enemies that engage on her, like Athalia, like Aaron. She doesn't wanna get pulled and she wants to apply her damage where it's needed. Rarely she can even be used in the front line, but be aware when you're doing it, be mindful, watch out for that. And with that, I hope this video helped you understand her. As always, please let me know what you think of her and would you like some more hero reviews? Thank you, and I've been Linker.